Hello beautiful people of the YouTube land. My name is Zavid and welcome to my channel. For today's video I thought we might do something that might titillate your senses and mine as well. I thought we might talk about my favorite topic in the whole wide world which is movies. But more specifically, movies that I am anticipating, movies that I'm gagging over that I cannot wait to see in the movie theaters. Now these might not be the greatest movies, but they're movies that I want to see, okay? So give me a break. They're not all great, okay? They're not all Oscar worthy. But I'm just saying. So without any further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay, so first on the list, this is a movie that literally decapitated me. That's how intense this movie is for me. This is a movie that I have been waiting for, that I have been gagging over for so long, and I'm so excited that it's finally here. And this movie is Halloween. Now, Halloween, I know what you're saying. There are 13,000 Halloweens out there, but this one is very special to me because it involves Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. Now, now, yes, she has been in quite a few of them, not all of them, quite a few. She was in part one, she was in part two, and she was in that other one that we will not mention. <laughs> But I am so excited for this film to come out because I am a horror movie fanatic. I love horror movies. Anything that horror movie related, I am into. And this one is no exception because this movie deletes everything that came after the original. And this movie recounts the, the original story 40 years later. So when you're watching this film, forget about Halloween part three, part 13, part 44. Forget all about those. It's about part one and it's about this one that's coming out later this year. Now this one basically talks about how Michael Myers is back to haunt everybody and he's not leaving anybody behind. Now this one is basically about Michael Myers 40 years later. Yes, he should be 60, 65 years old. Yeah, well, he should be getting the Senior Citizen Metro card, but it's okay. He's still strong. He's still got it. Okay, so stay with me. He's come back. He wants to kill Miss Laurie Strode, aka Jamie Lee Curtis, the original Scream Queen. He wants to kill her. He wants to decapitate her, but Miss Laurie Strode is ready for him, honey. She has been preparing for over 40 years. She has been taking classes. She has her Glocks in her purse. She is not going to take this line down. She is ready to kill. She's ready to go head to head with Mr. Michael Myers and she will not be backing down. So I cannot wait for this. Oh my God, this movie is going to, I can just smell it. I can feel it. I can taste it. This movie is going to be amazing. Oh my God. So if you love the original horror movie and even if you love part two, which it's said in the hospital, which had me gagging, would get, in my opinion, I loved it better than the first one. I know it's kind of a, you know, it's not right to say, but it's my favorite one. Part two and set in the hospital gives me all the creeps. Ah, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't. I mean, when I saw the trailer for this movie, I literally needed my life alert because I was on the floor and I could not get up. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this film. The film comes out on October 19th, so get your passes ready because I will be there with you. I cannot wait, I'm gagging. Okay, so next on the list is another horror movie. Yes, a lot of these are horror movies. Deal with it. This one is called The Nun. Now, it's not about the story about a beautiful nun who takes care of other children and, you know, she wants to make the world a better place. No, honey, this nun is ready for blood, honey. She wants to kill all the heifers in the town, okay? So, this one is basically, if you saw The Conjuring Part 2, you are pretty familiar with The Nun. Now, The Nun pops out in The Conjuring 2 quite a bit and the part that had me gagging in the conjuring too was when she's in the painting and she comes out she comes running honey she is doing the 50 yard dash and she is ready to kill these bitches now let me tell you something i almost had a heart attack in the movie theater they had to come pick me up they had to call the emt because i could not take it this movie had me gagging but when i saw the trailer for the nun i was even gagging more because this movie basically tells the origin story now if anybody knows me anybody knows me well knows that i love a good origin story i love to know where these people came from why did they become this way why are they so evil why do they want to kill everybody in sight now i am excited because this one tells a story about a priest and a nun who go to romania to uncover the mysteries of a nun that committed suicide basically once they get there they realize that that shit ain't right. it's more than this heifer committing suicide something is going down something is not right something 
is murky in the waters and they're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Sorry for saying hell. I am so excited for this film because it the trailer gave me goosebumps. I felt nervous because I was like, oh my god, please don't kill this nun. She's just trying to do good by the Lord. And I mean, there's this nun trying to kill everybody in sight, trying to possess these people, trying to make them go to the devil, not to the heavens. I am just so excited for this film. I want to scream. I want to get goosebumps. I want to jump out of my chairs. I want to punch somebody in the face by accident and then in the prison the next day. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm ready! Okay, I'm ready. So I hope you're ready with me, okay? The Nun comes out September 7th. I am so excited. <laughs> okay, now switching on to a lighter note, this next movie is called The Happy Time Murder, and it includes one of my favorite comedic actresses, Melissa McCarthy. Now, Melissa McCarthy is so funny. I first fell in love with her in The Bridesmaids. It's coming out of me like lava! And after that moment, I was spellbound. I love Melissa McCarthy. Now this movie is very up my alley because it's raunchy as <laughs> Watching the trailer, I was like, how did they get away with this movie? And this movie actually has gained quite a bit of criticism from people, mostly because it includes the whole Sesame Street meets raunchy as F kind of vibe. So basically this movie tells a story about a society where human beings coexist with characters that you would see on Sesame Street. Basically, Melissa McCarthy is a detective police officer. You know, she's trying to figure out who is killing off these Muppets that are just showing up dead randomly. Basically, she and this Muppet come together to try and figure out who is killing these poor Muppets that are just dying. But the thing that makes me laugh is how raunchy this movie is. I was watching the trailer and I was like, oh my God. I was watching this movie completely gagged because this movie is so raunchy. She is so dirty and if anybody knows me that's I am filth and you know it's like I'm disgusting I'm vile I'm disturbing You're nasty. so I am super excited to see this film if you love a good raunch fest if you love cursing if you like sexual innuendos if you love all that crazy stuff then you will definitely be loving the happy time murder and this movie comes out August 24th honey so I hope you're ready get your seatbelts ready and get your soaps out honey because you're gonna be washing your mouth up with a lot of soap okay now the next movie on the list is The Slender Man. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, The Slender Man was a thing like a decade ago, but hear me out. Hear me out. Let's sit down. Wait a minute. Calm down. This movie basically is pretty weird because I don't even know how to describe this film. Yes, it recounts the story of the whole Slender Man epidemic where video games came out. There were, you know, the serious report of these girls that stabbed this girl in the back because Slender Man told them to. I don't know what medical these kids are on nowadays I'm just glad I ain't a parent because I ain't ready to worry about these children killing people off but apparently this movie tells a story of slender man and how he is influencing these young kids to commit all these heinous crimes and basically slender man being horrific awful and just pretty freaking creepy because watching the trailer I was like Oh God, this really happened in the sense that two little girls thought that Slenderman told him to kill this girl, stab them in the, oh my God, I was, it was just very, like the thoughts that came into my head were just very disgusting and morbid, but hear me out. I know the circumstances are disgusting. I can understand both sides of saying this is very inappropriate, but also give me more. So I was thinking, let me give this movie a chance because if it took about a decade to make, it's because maybe they wanted to find the right way to do it. Maybe they were waiting for the right director, for the right writer, for the the right actors for the right everything to make this movie pleasing for the audience because I know that the director the producer and everybody was thinking okay we're going into deep if we F this up. So I hope that they took notes of what is going on, of the criticisms, and that they made this movie justice because I am excited and I cannot wait to see this film. So this movie comes out August 24th, and if you want to see some crazy stuff on the screen, honey, things that you will be gagging over, I recommend you watch The Slender Man, honey, because this movie had me feeling all kinds of uncomfortable. So the next movie on the list is The Meg. I saw the trailer for this movie like a couple of weeks ago, and I was just like, now this movie is just really ridiculous. Now this movie is so ridiculous that I almost had to laugh, but I was intrigued. So basically this movie includes Jason Statham, action superstar, you know, he's very amazing, I love him, he's very good looking, so I was intrigued. And of course Ruby Rose is in this movie, which made me even more intrigued because I have a super crush on her. I think she's stunning, I think she's gorgeous, I think she's everything of the above. Basically this movie tells a story about this man, Jason Statham, who escapes death. You know, he's he almost died, but he escaped it. So he has to go back to save this group of people who are 
in the ocean to save them from this thing that looks like the Empire State Building. It looks so crazy big. It makes Jaws look like my pinky finger. It just, it's so crazy. This shark, I was in the movie theater saying, how big is this thing? It looked like a building. It was so crazy. I mean, this movie looks so ridiculous. It's almost laughable, but I'm so intrigued because I'm thinking, what happens? It's one of those trailers that was done so well because I was like, what is gonna happen to these people? Because this shark is so big, it takes up the entire Atlantic Ocean. So I was just like, okay, I know this movie's probably gonna be bad, but bad in a good way. You know, I'm gonna have a good laugh. Maybe I'm gonna enjoy myself, you know? Maybe, who knows, maybe it might be good. You know, let's not judge a book by its cover. This movie might be good, might be fun, might be enjoyable. You know, it's summer blockbuster, who knows? I can't predict the future, I don't know. But if you love a good action, packed, horror, thriller, all kinds of explosives, all kinds of Jaws related films, then you might enjoy this one. This movie comes out August 10th, so I hope you're ready for that one, honey. So those are my most anticipated films of the later year of 2018. I hope you are excited as I am. I'm lactating. Because I'm super excited. And I have more movies on the list, but this video would be like 20 minutes long if I mentioned all the films that I was anticipating. But I can make a part two, maybe, perhaps. So yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you guys like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that damn bell so that you know when I'm making a video because I'll be making videos quite a bit, okay? So I hope you're having a beautiful day. Stay sexy, stay beautiful, and keep it tight. And until later, darling, bye.